You're still feeling the same. And I remember people would ask me after Miss World, how do you feel now? I feel happy. I was happy before. I'm happy now. But I'd always tell them I still feel the same. You're not be like any other person. So if you were to put a camera on someone the whole day, you'll not only get the of nicer course. parts. So sometimes you have to give yourself that much and be like, it's okay. I mean, these are strangers who are giving an opinion about yes. something very personal like your weight or anything else. I, do, I don't think you should listen to people's opinion when it comes to your personal, personal things. Koimoi.com Hi, I'm Manushi Chiller and you're watching me on Koimoi.com. Coming out of a pageant and hmm. one that is as massive as Miss World, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is the biggest change it brings in your life and uh, does it sustain? Does that feeling sustain for a very long time? Um, I feel like, uh, you know, in life you always feel that if this happens, then my life will be set. Huh. You always feel that. And I, I, I always felt that, you know, if, if this happens in life, then I'll be so happy and then the... I don't think that point ever comes because you're still feeling the same. And I remember people would ask me after Miss World, how do you feel now? I feel happy. I was happy before. I'm happy now. But I'd always tell them I still feel the same. I still feel like the same person. Um, but I'd, I'll definitely say that through experiences like these, you learn, you grow. At a very young age, when I won Miss World, I was 20. Yes. So at a very young age, the experiences that you get, the kind of people that you meet, um, the responsibilities that you have are something which a normal 20 year old would not experience. So for me that has been a very very uh, important part of my life that has really added a lot to who I am today. So you grow, you learn. So that keeps changing and growth and learning is a constant process which will keep happening throughout my life. So with all these experiences you know that will keep adding on. But uh, I feel like and, you know since I've said it I feel like you are still the same person and there's yes. never one thing that will happen in your life that will change your life complete, change you completely. I mean, there are, I, I wouldn't, I mean, Miss World did change my life completely. <laughs> uh, there's no uh, denying that. But uh, I think you, you still feel like the same person. The person remains the same. Yeah, you, I mean, yes. fundamentally you'll always be the same yeah, person. That's true. But with that comes the pressure of always looking perfect, being immaculate all the time. <laughs> because you're photographed every minute of the day, let's yeah. say. It's not exaggeration because you are. Yeah. Uh, is that too much to take at times? Is it, is it pressurizing to you? Well, I think, uh, I mean, not anymore, but considering the fact that I did come from a very normal life. So for me, I was not very prepared. Okay. It, it, I was not very prepared to kind of be in the public eye and be seen by people, be photographed everywhere. So I feel, I don't think I've ever focused on always looking perfect and always like being perfect and sometimes it's played in my favour, sometimes it's gone against me. But I feel like, you know, that's a part of, you know, whatever you do. Um, of course, now that I know that there are more eyes on me, I would want to be more careful. <laughs> I would want to always, uh, you know, have people see the good side and people be able to see the nicer parts of, you know, whatever my life is. But uh, but I mean I guess it will always be a mix, you know, with the good comes the bad. So and we're all humans. We all we're, we are all not always having a good day. You know, we all have our moods and we all have our issues in life. So I mean I I think that that's that's very normal. You know, we're we're not we're like any other person. So if you were to put a camera on someone the whole day, you'll not only get the of nicer course. parts. So sometimes you have to give yourself that much and be like it's okay. That's so true. But with that, there is always a point where comes the trolling part of it. Where comes yeah. the comments which are. Harsh, let's call them harsh. Yeah. I was talking mm -hmm. to Srinidhi uh, last month, Srinidhi Shetty, yeah, and she told course. me how she won the pageant with a scar on her face. Yeah, and yeah. that's what gave her a confidence. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, we have people who are trolling her Nas because she put on weight. Hmm. She was strong enough to come out and say, see, I have this condition. Yeah. And you can't really call me out for that. Yeah. Uh, how do you look at that? Did something of those sorts happen to you? I think, I think when you're fairly, when you're fairly a little popular, um, Trolling is a part and parcel of it, you know, I think, uh, I'm sure it's happened more than once, I'm sure it's happened a couple of times, but that's okay, you know, I mean, these are strangers who are giving an opinion about yes. something very personal like your weight or anything else, I, do, I don't think you should listen to people's opinion when it comes to your personal personal things. Um, it's okay, you don't, you don't have to take it too seriously, you know, opinions aren't facts, yes. as long as, as long as you believe that you're you're not wrong, or you you know that you're not doing anything wrong, or you're not being disgraceful. Then you shouldn't you shouldn't really believe what people say. 
um, and yeah, I think I think it would be nicer if we're all kinder to each other. Yes. Uh, but uh, I feel like instead of focusing on some stranger sitting behind a screen, which is not even their own account, probably yes. they a sit fake account for that. And yeah. probably you know, probably they they have like ten different accounts that they're commenting from. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. But instead of focusing on that, I think if we should just focus on doing our work. It's That's a true. it's a part and parcel. Just accept that and move on. That's so true.